Gaussian probability density. Consider an ideal system of capital N spins one half, where each spin has a magnetic moment uh, mu zero, which points up or down with probabilities p and q, respectively. Using the relation 2.74 and Gaussian approximation, valid for large capital N, write down the Gaussian approximation for the probability uh, density p of m dm that the total magnetic moment of the system has a value between capital M and capital M plus dm. Now I have uh, noted these two relations here, the probability density m uh, dm can be obtained by using the probability distribution of m dm divided by uh, 2 mu zero and uh, so let's recall what we know about this capital M and this is our Gaussian approximation that we're going to make use of. So uh, let's recall uh, that what was capital M? Capital M is lowercase m times mu zero. It's the net moment that points in the up direction. So this m is the number of moments in the up direction minus the number of moments in the down direction. So n of moments and we have n prime down moments. And therefore, since the total number of moments n plus n prime is capital N, uh, total uh, spins, total number of spins here, we can write m as n minus n prime, which is n minus capital N minus n. So it is 2n minus capital N. Uh, so this basically allows us to write as capital M is equal to 2n minus capital N times mu zero. So you can see that for each n value there, uh, there exists a capital M value. Okay, so one to one uh, correspondence uh, between n and capital M here. So this allows us to write the probability uh, of having an M value is the same thing as probability of having an M value is the same thing as probability of having the corresponding N value because there's one to one correspondence between a lowercase m and capital M and also we have one to one correspondence between N and M. So uh, let me also recall what is M bar. Um, so M bar is basically the mean value of uh, 2n minus n, capital N, mean value mu zero, mu zero, which is 2n bar minus n uh, mu zero. Uh, so the mean value for n bar is uh, ca uh, capital N times p. So uh, I note that n bar was capital N times p here and the standard deviation of n was a square root capital N p q. So uh, I find that m bar is equal to uh, 2 n p minus n times mu zero. In other words, m bar, the average value of uh, the capital M is going to be n times uh, 2p minus 1 mu zero, which can also be written as capital N 2p minus p minus q, because p plus q is 1, uh, times mu zero. Or we can write m bar as capital N p minus q mu zero. And So uh, we can also talk about the uh, standard deviation of uh, capital M. Um, 
since we have uh, m is equal to 2n minus n times mu zero, if I write uh, delta m, that is m minus m bar, uh, this would be equal to uh, 2n minus capital N mu zero minus 2n bar minus n mu zero. You, you can see that these uh, minus n mu zeros will cancel here so that I get uh, delta m is twice the standard, uh, the deviation from the mean of delta n. So similarly, I can write delta m square bar, the variance of capital M, to be 4 delta n square bar. And therefore, uh, since delta n uh, tilde is square root n p q, or the variance of n delta n square bar is capital N p q, uh, this is basically 4 capital N p q, or I get that delta m tilde, which is the square root, is 2 square root, uh, there's a mu zero here, 2 square root uh, capital N p q times mu zero. Okay, so I, I remember these relationships between m and n. So basically, I have reached uh, the statistics for m that I have obtained here. That m bar I have found to be uh, capital N uh, p minus q uh, mu zero and delta m tilde, the standard deviation, is 2 square root n p q mu zero. So uh, we can keep this here as a reminder for us for the statistics of uh, m. Now uh, we can write according to uh, relation 2.74 uh, the probability density function p of uh, capital M dm is 1 over uh, 2 mu 0 times probability uh, distribution uh, of uh, m dm. So since the probability distribution of uh, m is the same thing as the probability distribution of n, basically I can write this as 1 over uh, 2 mu 0, uh, 1 over square root 2 pi capital N p q uh, exponential uh, minus n minus n p squared over 2 n p q and this is going to be multiplied by dm here. So basically my task is to convert n to uh, capital M. So I can uh, write since I have M is equal to uh, 2n minus capital N mu zero, I can basically obtain n from here as um, capital M divided by mu zero plus n uh, multiplied by parentheses multiplied by 1 over 2. So if you want to write uh, n minus np uh, as we need in this distribution, n minus capital np is going to be equal to capital M over 2 mu 0 plus capital N over 2 minus capital np which is m plus um, capital N mu zero minus 2 N P mu zero divided by 2 mu zero. So uh, 
this can be written as if I take it into n mu zero parentheses, one over uh, two mu zero m minus n mu zero parentheses one minus two uh, one minus two p. And uh, this is basically 1 over 2 mu 0, capital M minus, uh, let's make this plus, plus N uh, mu 0, 2P minus 1. So it's going to be 2P um, minus p minus q so um, I'm going to obtain p minus q here so this is going to be 1 over 2 mu 0 capital M plus n mu 0 p minus q so let me uh, take a look at what I did here uh, so I'm trying to calculate n minus np. So for n, I can substitute 1 over 2 m over mu 0 plus n. And then I have minus np. So uh, this is going to become um, in 1 over 2 mu 0 parentheses. If I take this into n mu 0 parentheses, uh, th this is already plus sign here. So I had a sign mistake. So this is going to be minus now. Uh, so you can see that I will have capital M minus N mu zero uh, P minus Q here, uh, which is M bar. So this is basically, uh, this can be written as one over two mu zero M minus M bar. And uh, if I substitute this into the uh, Gaussian uh, distribution, so all I have to do is convert n to m. Uh, this can be written as probability density function m dm is equal to uh, 1 over 2 mu 0, uh, 1 over square root 2 pi capital N p q exponential um, for uh, n minus n p squared I'm going to write 1 over 4 mu 0 um, 1 over 4 mu 0 m minus n p mu zero p minus q squared so capital m minus n p minus q mu zero squared divided by then we have one over two n p q so here we will have two n p Q. Uh, so you can see that uh, this is basically a 1 over 2 mu 0 square root 2 pi capital N P Q exponential minus 1 over 8 mu 0 capital N P Q uh, and uh, we can get rid of this one and basically write the top part uh, M minus N P minus Q mu zero parentheses uh, squared. So uh, this is one way to write it and on top basically I have M minus M bar so uh, 
the top part is m minus m bar uh, squared. The bottom part is uh, 2 square root mpq uh, squared. So I have uh, delta m tilde uh, squared at the bottom as well. And that is basically 4 mpq. Uh, mu zero uh, squared so that means i have uh, a one over two here so that is m minus m bar uh, squared divided by uh, twice uh, delta m squared and that there is also a factor of uh, mu zero on top because uh, I have to uh, get a mu zero at the bottom so this is basically uh, mu zero on top so mu zero over 2 m minus m bar squared divided by uh, delta m tilde uh, squared So this should uh, be basically our uh, final uh, answer. Uh, for uh, if you wish, you could also write the square root mpq is delta m tilde over uh, two mu zero. So this is actually one over uh, square root two pi, and and then we have square root mpq times two mu zero, which is uh, delta m tilde here. So we have. 1 over squared 2 pi delta m tilde exponential uh, minus 1 over 2 m minus um, m bar divided by delta m uh, tilde uh, squared so I'm not sure about this mu zero factor here so let me check uh, m minus m bar is basically uh, what we have found here m minus and p minus q mu zero and then we have delta m tilde is uh, two square root npq uh, mu zero so if you have m minus m bar divided by delta tilde m uh, squared this would give you uh, m minus n p minus q mu zero uh, squared divided by four uh, mu zero squared and pq so as you can see uh, i obtained four mu zero squared so i do need the factor of uh, mu zero on top in order to get this uh, one over two to work so this there's going to be a mu zero here so basically this is the uh, conversion to the gaussian approximation well we could have just stopped here so i just wanted to check how it looks in terms of uh, m bar and uh, standard deviation of m basically this is our answer for uh, the gaussian approximation uh, for the distribution of capital m so let's go through what we did again we're using this relation 2.74 to have the gaussian approximation probability density of capital m it is the probability distribution for m dm divided by 2 mu zero and we're using the Gaussian approximation. Since capital M is M times mu zero, where M is the net number of up moments, it can be written as 2N minus capital N mu zero, and we see a one-to-one -one correspondence between N and capital M, and we can find M bar, which is 2N minus N bar. Since N bar is capital NP, it's going to be capital NP minus Q mu zero, and we also see that uh, delta m is twice delta n times 
uh, mu zero because we have two n minus n mu zero. So delta m square bar, which is the variance of m, would be then four uh, n p q uh, mu zero. Um, since we're taking the square, there would be a square here, 4 mpq mu 0 square, and the standard deviation of m then gives you 2 square root mpq mu 0. So, so we are going to the probability distribution Gaussian approximation, 1 over 2 mu 0, 1 over square root 2 pi capital mpq, exponential minus n minus n capital mp squared divided by 2 n p q or that's actually delta n tilde squared if you wish uh, times d m so this will be our answer so i have to convert n to capital m and for uh, n i can substitute capital m over mu zero plus n times one over two so that n minus uh, capital n p is m over two mu zero plus n over two minus n p so if I multiply capital N over 2 with mu 0, mu 0 over mu 0, and capital N P with 2 mu 0 over 2 mu 0, I can write this as M plus capital N mu 0 minus 2 N P mu 0 over mu 0. So in 1 over 2 mu 0 parentheses, I have capital N plus uh, N mu 0 parentheses, 1 minus 2 P, which is P minus uh, well, if you take it into minus parentheses, it's 2p minus 1, which is p minus q. So we see that what I have here is 1 over 2 mu 0, capital M minus n mu 0 p minus q. n mu 0 p minus q is actually m bar. So it is 1 over 2 mu 0 m minus m bar. That is what I'm getting here. So for n minus n p. So if you take the n minus n p, uh, squared, uh, you would have, um, let me take this one step further because that's what I need. This would be 1 over 4 mu 0 squared m minus m bar squared. So when I come here, I have exponential uh, minus 1 over 2 uh, times n minus n p squared so that would give me 4 mu 0 squared here so I need a square there so there is one mistake and uh, capital n minus uh, n p minus q mu 0 squared divided by 2 n p q that was already in the denominator uh, so that appears here so this is going to give me 8 mu 0 uh, squared n p q at the bottom and then I have m minus m bar squared at the top. So this basically explains why I needed this extra mu zero. Therefore, that doesn't exist. So this is one over two, and uh, this mu zero doesn't exist. Uh, so basically, I see that uh, I have one over two mu zero squared two pi capital N P Q exponential minus m minus n p minus q mu zero squared divided by x eight mu zero squared n p q. I notice that this has the same form as the Gaussian distribution of n. It is one over squared two pi uh, delta tilde m exponential minus one over two m minus m bar over standard deviation of m uh, squared. So this is the same the same uh, form as a probability distribution for n which has the uh, n minus n bar divided by standard deviation of n squared so uh, this basically also shows us that the, there's one to one correspondence between m and n so these distributions should uh, look alike and that's uh, by making this a uh, conversion of uh, 1 over 2 mu 0 dm probability distribution of m, I indeed recover the Gaussian uh, approximation for uh, capital M. So, but uh, writing it explicitly, it is 1 over 2 mu 0 square root 2 pi capital M p q exponential minus capital M minus M p q M p minus q 
mu zero squared divided by eight mu zero squared capital M PQ. So this is basically the final answer, which I double checked uh, using M bar and standard deviation of M values that uh, I have calculated. So this completes basically the conversion uh, uh, the, of the uh, probability distribution to Gaussian approximation for capital M. So here is our final answer.